<laughs> I don't understand this bullshit. I don't care. We're in the middle of a conversation and these people are cutting us out. Okay, let's just get to the point so we can get out of here. Mm-mm. Don't do that. I don't know what the hell happened. They just cut us short. Like, literally. I guess we don't need to be talking about jail stores. <laughs> I think we need to just, I guess we need to get past the jail shit. Okay? Because I don't know. This shit just black, it just blacked out. Like, this is going to make my damn, what, third, fourth phone? I don't need another damn phone. I guess I need to upgrade. I need to upgrade my phone or something. Get another phone. Because this shit right here is crazy. I don't understand. This is going to be my fourth phone in one year. I can't not. Oh, okay. Okay, y'all go to um shit. Ash. <laughs> go to Neat Neat and tell her to come over here. <laughs> she just I had to get her to start live. It wouldn't even let me go live. But go to her, her live and tell her to come over here. Tell her Ian to come over here. <laughs> this shit is crazy. Thank you. Y'all better not be messing with my stuff now. It's probably why I got my stuff going. But that is crazy. They just cut us. We were talking. I guess, they, like I said, they don't want us to talk about no jail stores. Yeah, tell us the in hugs to come over here. They let me go live. They weren't even going to let me. They was telling me to restart my app. I ain't doing it. As we say, what? Well, get somebody else to do this shit. We ain't doing it. We ain't even did that. <laughs> shit, we was just warming up. <laughs> For a whole hour though, we did that. <laughs> oh my god. This shit is crazy. I even tagged her in here. And she probably was going to lie as soon as I tagged. But yeah, y'all. I'm trying to wait till she get over here because I had to get her to come over here. It just, it just. It never fails. I said they gotta get these. Let's get these goddesses out of here. They, they, they doing too much flashing. <laughs> it's too many alerts going off, <laughs> and we ain't even spilled the beans yet. Like damn. Yes. But yeah, like sis was saying though, you know. Them jail situations, they be they be crazy. They be crazy, okay? They be crazy. Alright. I see Ash pull back up. It, it's funny. <laughs> it is so here. <laughs> I see why people <laughs> I see why people want to leave her. This shit is sick. We just been black. And then what wasn't going to be black. Can't talk about our experiences. No, I said we must, we must can't talk about the jail, our jailbird stories. <laughs> 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 stories. Really? <laughs> that, that, that sweeping under the rug. Bitch. Okay. They need to stop sweeping our shit under the rug on this media. I've been as long as any motherfucker away. I don't know. Ew. I'm trying to clean. We trying to clean the jailhouse and the churches and the houses. Okay. Okay. We're just drinking. I change in a minute. Okay. Okay. We take it off. Okay. We're going there because I'm you're loud, baby. Okay, we'll get you a straw. <laughs> she want a straw every time she get a cup. She be wanting a straw. Like the regular cups. She bougie. Yeah, she I don't know where she get it from, y'all. <laughs> 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 I don't know where she get it from. <laughs> <laughs> she laughing in the background, like, 
Girl, bye. Okay, like well, you know you lie. <laughs> you know where she got it from. But yeah. So yeah, you know, another thing with sweeping things under the rug is um I said rug, but I meant to say rug, okay? Um rug is what was we was talking about? Um we talked about the church, we talked about uh school. Uh, I, I guess they go neck and neck with the knowledge and the wisdom, the elements which you're really supposed to get. Um, relationships in our households, okay? We talked about that. Um, also with the relationships in our households, um, the things that we actually adapted to growing up, okay? Such as, you know, a certain way, like somebody, you know, a family member might do something. And we've never questioned certain things that they've done, okay? We just actually just fell in suit um, or fall in line. And you just, you know, just do as you're told, you know? And a lot of those things, you know, when we do that, a lot of the issues inside the foundation, how we really want to express ourselves, our emotions, or, you know, just pinpointing certain things that we need to change in the foundation. When it comes to change and, and to communicate or talk about real tough conversations, a lot of those are swept under the rug, okay? And nowadays, we're in this open space, okay, this energy that's allowing us to be more vocal, okay? It's allowing us to speak out, speak up, okay? Why well, I feel like I'm in a, a trance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I felt like I was in deja vu, like completely. Because you are where you supposed to be at. Right. I just felt the energy like, hold on, this look this scene looked familiar. Especially the, the colors, right the background, all of that. But a lot of that is, you know, swept under the rug. And you know, we just wanted to talk about it today, you know, moving forward in our journey, okay? What can we do to could stop sweeping all of this bullshit under the rug? Regardless of how hard it is, how challenging it is, okay? Um, how hard it is to, to reflect on things, you know? We have to still look, okay? And and understand these, these uh, experiences, all right? So we can stop sweeping them under the rug. Because today, children today are not going for, like I've always said, you can't contradict these new babies. These new kids now. And the reason being because they are you. And yourself ain't going to be played again. Have you seen that video where the young man, he, he's, um, he's autistic. And um, one of the white teachers took away the um, game or something from him. I forget what the Switch, Nintendo Switch. It was a young black dude or whatever, but he, he was nice in size, nice in height and nice in size. And the lady proceeds to take away his Nintendo Switch. The video shows her walking down the hallway and then she turns, she got a coat in her hand or something. And she turns around and he's like fully running full force towards her, pushes her on the ground where she, you know, she get off her feet type push. Like, that's how powerful he was. And wow. he beat the fuck out of her. He beat her so bad, he beat her on the country. You can tell from the fall, she got knocked out from the fall. Like, automatically. Automatically. Like, she went limp from there, and then he gets on top of her, and he beats her like a fucking gorilla. You feel what I'm saying? It took several people to get this young man off of her. And they are charging him as an adult. He's an autistic, um, I guess he goes to an autistic school, but he's an autistic young man. And they're charging him as an adult. And they said that he told, they said that he told the police, she took my Nintendo Switch from me. Now, I don't know how true that is. No one has him recorded saying these things. But because it was a big black dude, like some John Coffee shit, you feel what I'm saying? And to her little bitty short white ass, she, he beat the shit out of her now. I'm not going to put a pen stuff now, but there, there has to be more to that story than she took my Nintendo Switch. 
Right. Because but that goes back to you guys fight them fucking that, That's why, you know, that's why it's a thing called with, you know, the settings with the not the settings, but there has to be a uh, screen time, okay? Because these kids are addicted to the screen, okay? And we are too in a way, okay? But these kids are extremely addictive. Ass whoopings, they don't care. They will take all of that. As long yeah. as they got their phone and still got their devices, they don't give a damn. Go on the, <laughs> hit me on the back side, Mom. So I can go on here and play my game. Okay? I'm a bit, but I'm going to go back here with my game. Yeah, I'm going to go back here in my, in my room and still be able to do me. You know, these that's the easy way out for them. Okay? That's why I always say, take the shit from them. Cause that 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 that'll break them down. Okay, they ain't gonna want to do the same shit no more because they ain't gonna want their devices taken. But that goes back to that little boy that also killed. I think killed his mother because he either uh, oh it was something either over his phone or he ordered something. And I think it was a black boy. And he killed his. Mother. I think he ordered something out for Amazon. And when it came, she took it. And, and, you know, because he ordered it from her car. So she took it. And when she took it, you know, let him know what was, you know, she knew what he was doing and what happened. He killed her. Damn. That's crazy. All over devices. That's why, you know, the screen time is really much needed. That's why, you know, we've been busy, too, you know, and sometimes we have to have a break, too. You know, we have to revamp. We have to, you know, regenerate our energy from the screen. You know what I'm saying? Because we can get caught up in it and, you know, it'd be other things that we need to, you know, have to do, you know, and we'd be getting behind on shit, you know. So the screen time is de definitely much, much needed, especially with kids. Like when you go to the doctor, they ask you how much screen time do your child get? Because now. Nowadays, you can't just sit your kid in front of the TV all day. They will call that child neglect. I promise you. I promise you. If you they definitely will call it child neglect. Not to do the screen time. You know, some people just don't do that shit at all. But if you decide to do the whole, the the TV, set a time aside for that child to do that because... If you fully got them locked in, all you're doing is sticking a tablet in front of their face or whatever. You ain't playing with them. You ain't interacting. You ain't coming, saying you don't know what the fuck going on. Have a little movie time with them or something. Then guess what? The TV starts raising your child. And then when you take that device from them, they the flip. robot, the Terminator, <laughs> the machines, okay? And you they are they flip the fuck out and they will beat the shit out of you. Okay. So they definitely will. They definitely will. And, and you know, it's it's important. But, you know, if you have kids that, like our kids, especially mine, they'll watch TV, but they don't sit still. So my kids are constantly moving and doing things all throughout the day. You know, J.C. has his times with his games. Like, he used to be on the Oculus every freaking day for hours. Come out of that motherfucker, he have a whole goddamn sucking su suction mark around his face. And I'm like, you, too, you own the damn thing too long. Get off of it. Head be hotter than a motherfucker, like he he running a fever. No, you need to get off of that, you know. And I would have to make him get off. Yeah, get off. Get off of it. Going dead, let it charge up, but without you on it. Cause yeah, these electronic, and that's another shit that'll sweep your the dirt under the that damn rug because yeah. you're not dealing with your children. You're not, you know, the kids are not reaching their full potential okay not just spiritually because they're in tune with the electronics because the electronics is another reflection of our, of our higher self our higher intelligence okay so they're so much into the imagination they're not balancing it out by participating in the physical doing things in the physical whether it's they playing with their toys physically and tapping into their imagination. Whether they're going outside, like we used to do, be outside all fucking night and day. Okay? I'm talking about all goddamn night. Okay. Then, the okay. and before the street, like, come on, all the big fucking motel. Why can't I get like 30 more minutes to an hour? Be having a good time, okay? Don't let your parents be out there on the front porch drinking and having a good time. Baby, oh, we outside, outside, we outside. 
My mom tired too. All I gotta do is make sure I show my face and run. Mom right here. Okay. I'm okay. <laughs> okay. We outside. Okay. I love them moments. When the parents out there, they have a good time, you the playing, and we out. <laughs> okay. Let's go play hide and seek. Okay. Catching all the little lightning bugs and shit. Okay. Yeah, how to go get it. How to go get it. How to go get it. Get it. <laughs> yeah, I might have played it. We played it too. <laughs> okay. How to go get it. Okay. Got to get it. And then we get it. For us was how to go get it with clothes on. Y'all how yeah. to go get it with clothes off. This generation. No, no, hell no. Nah. We, we had clothes on. Generation, this generation, yeah, yeah, now, yeah this generation, <laughs> they had to go get is totally different. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't play There's that. nothing left to the imagination. No. <laughs> There's no, nothing. Everything is out in the open. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I do. No, I'm mm-hmm. you might see somebody in the streets and be like, you remember we used to play hide and go get it? You remember. Now? And they can't say they didn't because it was everybody's game. Everybody played that shit. I'm glad. Especially if you're from the hood. You played it. Okay. Even if you ain't from the hood, you know somebody from the hood. You you play. Okay. You fucking play. Uh, we played house. <laughs> I don't mind the year today. Don't let the parents know. Now, how I go, what they really should have been mad at is how I can go get it. But they used to be mad about house more than they were mad about how I can go get it. I think we swept how I can go get it up under the rug. Yeah. A lot more than we had house. Because we thought house was just, I'm saying, house, you the mama, I'm the daddy, whatever. Can you get your ass whooped for playing fucking house? Uh huh. Okay. The fuck you mean you playing house? I have something else to play with. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then they go and they go back to their group of friends. You know what I'm kids in that place? Fucking hell. Be in there acting out all the parents. All the parents. <laughs> Tell mine to come out here. Go home. Okay. <laughs> and they, they, they be knowing who's playing it too. Who the ringleader? Mine ain't. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mine, 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 mine. <laughs> <laughs> they be doing that mine, mine doing. I know that was my, my idea right there. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, sure. Tell mine to come on out here. Time to go home. I'll be back, y'all. Let me go get the ass. Yeah, the they, I'll be I'll be hearing the kids say let's go play out. I'll be like, oh Lord, I hope they house is nothing like my house. Yeah, you got people in the corner. Good the you know, they house might be totally different. <laughs> that fucking house is different. I hear the word house. Hell no, nah, you can't play that. What's house? I ain't play house. Tim. Okay. Yeah, I can't play that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Not no boys and bob. <laughs> Not no girls either. Nowadays. Can't play well, house. nowadays, yeah. Nowadays, okay, I yeah. They house is just totally different. It's not like our house. We really acted out our parents. They acted out their parents, too. It's just different now. The energy is different. Peace, peace. What's good, bro? Okay. But we definitely, you know. I remember playing fucking house. That shit was dope back then. Yeah, it was dope back then. The kids nowadays, they they house ain't like our house. No. Our house is not a. Like I said. They, they ain't got nothing to the imagination. <laughs> <Not that. laughs> okay, they really play a house, okay? They play a house. They play a house house. They play house house. That's the game. Let's play a house house. Exactly. They play a house house house. <laughs> they play a house like me. house. And every time we play a house, that same person was my spouse. These motherfuckers have different spouses. Oh, you was my spouse last time. I don't want to play with you. Okay. But I switched up real quick. 
the fuck are you doing? Nah, don't play the game. I don't want it. I don't want him to be my husband. I don't want him to be. I don't want him to. He doing it. They, hey, they have to totally different. A lot of things have evolved, okay? Like, <laughs> a lot of things, you know. Like I said, back in the day, our house was totally different. It was imaginative. Another okay? thing that's swept up under the rug is molestation. Yes. 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 And that's it still is today. From all old aspects. That, that's from back in my mom them days back in my day and to this generation now it's yeah it's hard to the road real bad because you know what i'm saying at the end of the day it's, it's like this generation makes it hard for you to believe if they're telling the truth or not you get what i'm saying yeah it's tricky I mean, I'm in a fucked up ass situation because i don't know if, i don't know if you're telling the truth or i don't know if you're not telling the truth Right. Do, you know what I'm saying? Back then, nine times out of ten, if a motherfucker came to you and said something, but it's true. Like, right. This shit really happened to me, but it was sweating upon the road. Then it was sweating upon the road. It was really sweating upon the road so bad back then. The well, your cousin really was your sister. And mm -hmm. I don't want you to know that. So Auntie raised that baby. <laughs> you feel right. me? Right. Auntie raised that baby because Auntie was the mama of that baby who and that baby was really your daddy's child. Okay. And this and this one heavy in, in, in us in South Carolina. In the South. Yeah. yeah the the really mixing of uh, as they say the bloodline is it runs really heavy here in the South. Okay. But was it sweeping up under the rug? Or was it the fact that they have social media to blast it out? It was swept under the rug to the fact that the kids didn't even know. They still operated as if that child was whatever, whoever to them. Right. But the right. parents knew. And the parents is always the sweeper, okay? It would never be the child. It would always be the parents doing the sweeping, okay? So, so yeah, they were sweeping it up under the rug. Oh, that's my sister. <laughs> Okay. Why a lot of your sisters could be your mama. Definitely could. Definitely could. Mm -hmm. And it, it was raised as siblings. I think the sweeping up under the rug now is a lot more de detailed. Like it's strategically moved. It's very, it's very tainted. Yeah, like back then it was detailed, but everybody played their part. Now it's like, it's really fucked up. Now they, they were manipulated as, um, they were manipulated as incest. But see, a lot of that incest was molestation. It wasn't incest. Because with incest, that is willingly, two willingly per parties, whether they're Re related, okay, they're related, so they both agree. That's incest. And that is some shit that they would sweep under the rug. That's incest. She agreed, they agreed. Yep, but a lot of them were molested. A lot of them were. Right. And it was just carried out and carried out and carried out. So they were, you know, some people were, you know, manipulate that is incest but you got to know the difference incest is two willing partners okay two willing people that are blood in the same bloodline that's incest okay but that incest can also be used as a tactic to manipulate to molest okay and now what i mean to manipulate to be molested i mean to be carried out for years especially if they got you when you was young okay mm -hmm. And families don't want to talk about that. Even to no. this day, they do not. That is a hard topic. Oh, that's sweeping off under the rug as if she hot man. That's the main dirt pile we got to get up off and up under the rug. That's, you remember that sweeping up under the rug as she hot in the ass? Or she just hot 
Right. Ain't nothing going on with her. She's just hot and ass. Right. People will say that too. Oh, that little girl trying to tell you something. And one thing about that too, if if a child is acting in such a way, it's because that's what they're being accustomed to. Meaning, someone is either acting out on them, okay, or this is what they're they are surrounded around, okay. So they're only carrying out what has been put on them. So you have to pay attention to your kids when you say, oh, she just fast. No, you need to pay attention to the environment. Is it somebody she hangs with? Is somebody touching your baby? Okay? These questions have to come up because children will only follow the lead of a childlike energy until we, okay, till we, we corrupt it. Okay? And we can corrupt it by shaming them and by shaming their truth, okay? Exactly. Which is sweeping under the rug. Mm -hmm. Okay? So these children, though, they act out. Okay? And they used to say that a lot. Oh, she just hiding the ass. She fast as fuck. But you're not understanding that this baby girl don't went through so much shit. Okay? How she know to be fast? How, How she know to be fast? How to use her body like that? How she know to look, you know, because back then, even with, for me growing up, back then society wasn't so verbally pushed out like that. You know, we wasn't, it wasn't like our skin, our body was, you know, we wasn't dressing as provocative as we was back then. Yeah, mama, like that. that energy wasn't yeah, carried out. Mama, mama. But today it is. Mama. So you definitely have to be careful with that, you know, because for me, being in that position, a lot of people would say I was hot in the ass. A lot of people said I was fast, okay? But they didn't understand that I was molested, okay? I was, okay? Put in situations where I felt like this is normal. This is what I got to do to get attention. This is what I got to do, you know, and, you know, this is the way I'm supposed to be doing. And that's because I was taught. You see what I'm saying? Other than that, I was still playing with Barbie dogs at the age of fucking 12 and 13, all right? Me fucking too. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm gonna tell you something. For real, for real. Play with them damn dogs because at the end can of the day, you better have a child as long as you can. Yes, they, they a child. child. That's the smartest shit they could have said. A person could have said in the past. Stay in a child's no. place. But how can your child stay in a child's place if an someone else of other is an adult is taking them out of that energy? Exactly. You 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 talk to them like they grown one minute, but then you want them to stay in the child place the next. Pick one. When it's fitting for them. Pick one. You want them to watch their siblings while you go out and fuck off. But then when they tell you about yourself is who you talking to? Stay in the child place. Oh, okay. Okay. Now I'm not when people don't want to see they don't want to see they True, true. Yeah, we do. That's why you know the energy when it comes about. That's why you, you when you that's see that fast energy, yeah. along, it's a reflection of your damn self. Oh, she fast, fast, she fast. How you know that? Because you were fast. Thanks, you were fast. Oh. Hold on one second, I'll be right there. I can't move you from you my mind. But how do you know that they, they fast? How do you know they hot in the ass? Because it was the, it's a reflection of yourself, a reflection of someone that was around you. Maybe it was your own mom. Maybe it was your own sister. And you see that same energy in your child that you did see in someone around you or yourself. Period. Point blank. Now, don't sit up here and be, oh, she hot and ass. She this, she that, and this, that, and the third or whatever. You know that energy because you've seen that energy. Either in thyself or near thyself. Period. Like, stop playing. Motherfuckers love sweeping some shit under the rug and make them look good. Motherfuckers love, oh, you know, I'm I'm holier than thou. Da 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 da. I, I don't do those things, but let you find out they, they story from back in the day. That story from back in the day of them is a same reflection of what the fuck that little girl doing now. But right, the same thing. The church now, they they religious now. They gave their life to Christ. You feel me? 
they 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 doing the godly thing now. You feel me? They okay. Do so, they, they, so they sweep, they pass up under the rug, but call your child out about it. You yeah. notice that she was fast because you used to be fast. Anime, boo, you were fast. Okay. Matter of fact, take anime boo for example. I'm finna say that's a perfect example. Peace is. Anime Buller was fast because look who the fuck her mama was. Look who her sister was. Her sister was, worked in the club as a bartender and dressed in the finest of the finest. Her mama was a hoe. They fake. Hell yeah. They be fake. It's hell. They fake as fuck. But, but but they they feel like because I've given myself over to Christ and I've given I've, I've I'm in the church now that your past don't matter anymore. That's what I said at the beginning. People went to church just only to what sweep the bullshit under the rug. You didn't face not damn damn reflection. And that's why the uh, the some of those elders in the church that was still whispering and gossiping to each other, Anime and and Sylvia was calling each other on the phone right after fucking church only to talk about what went on in the church. I used to go, you know, Gabriel's daughter came in there with that short skirt on and them, them high heels way up there. That skirt was way up there and them heels was way up there too. But you, you got yourself a crush. You religious now. You religious now. And yet you still talking. Only reason why you noticed that energy in that young gal, because you was what that young gal with that skirt way up yonder and them heels way up. Yonder. Okay, yeah, you make you be messing them up. Way up yonder. You used to be tooting and moving it, anime. <laughs> okay. Your heels used to be in the air, clicking and clacking. Yeah, used you to be up, up in that. Okay. You was swinging it. You was swinging them hips. Gyrating all over the dance. Floor. Okay, don't don't act. Stop. Hold it down, down, just down. No, don't tell, don't act like that. The first motherfuckers to judge you. The, the first people to judge you is the first people that already they it's always, live that life. be the ones mostly in the church that judge you too. Okay, them be the first person. Person, the first people to judge you is the people that are that used to be you. <laughs> they used to be you. They used to be smoking that stuff, like like the old folks say, "Oh, they smoking that stuff." Didn't you smoke that stuff? You got that one real elderly in the church that don't judge my grandbaby, because I remember when your skirt was way up young, and you ain't had no stockings on. The preacher is the damn dope man. Now, I always said, if you were not, how can you teach somebody if you have never yes, learned something? The preacher, you can't get up there and preach in the pulpit if you ain't never been a part of the street. How are you going to teach them the struggle? Why? You can't preach me the word if you ain't never had the experience, baby. A preacher ain't nothing but a teacher. That's how they is. It's just some extra level. And one of them is it. They took the T off and added the PR. That's all you are. You are a teacher. But you can't teach nobody shit if you ain't never been through shit. But you can teach somebody to, to think outside of themselves. You can teach Definitely. someone to a uh, fault to to uh to uh what is it called? Um to worship a false god. Okay? You you can teach people Okay, to lead, let, let the church take away your problems, okay? You can teach them on a literal sense to keep them in a mindset that someone is going to save them, okay? Someone is going to take away all my pain and all my sins and all my bullshit. I done been okay? Through. All I got to do is go to church, cry, pay some tithes and offering, and go to the altar and bend on my hands and knees and pray to this God, this outside God, outside of myself. And then I'm healed. Some people don't be healed. You you you're truly not healed because you still haven't healed within. You still right. haven't stuck within yourself and said, This is the fucking problem. And you know what? You get to covering that up, when you get to covering that up and sweeping that up under the rug, it start reflecting in your kids. 
It do. It do. It do. And you know what? When we are, when we was actually okay. praying, okay, praying for forgiveness and all of that, that's the first step. But see, it's always a next step, okay, to take you to the next step, all right? You know, to keep you moving forward. We always stop there. Leave it in God's hand and not leave yourself. You still have to put in the work. You still have to do those, you know, take those steps. You see what I'm saying? You can't just pray and think that everything going to be okay. Okay? You can pray in a sense of affirmations of, okay, everything is going to be all right. I'm going to leave it to God. You can say it however you want to say, but you ultimately, you have to put in the work, okay? You have to change the mind, okay? That's the only way, okay, that you're going to get what you want that you pray for, right? What I say, faith for that works is dead. I say, faith for that works is dead. Right. So you can have all the faith you want, but if you ain't put that, that work in, it's just, what, nothing, air, See what I'm saying, Okay. Yep, faith without work is definitely dead. Okay. That's just like even in the spiritual community. You can read, okay? You can dialogue and research all day. Okay. But if you're not actually putting in the work, okay, nothing's gonna change. No. You, you can be the smartest motherfucker on the planet. But if you ain't putting in the work, which is the experiences, okay, which is to gain the understanding, all right, you ain't doing nothing. You just talking, okay? They say, you know, I, I was just telling my, my husband earlier, I, I, don't, I don't deal with people, you know, uh, if people, you know, they can talk all day. All day. All right? And we can sit there and have a conversation. And I ain't going to take you serious until I see your footwork. Yeah, that is true. You can and, and talk to me all day. But if your footwork ain't ain't matching, you ain't yeah, stressing me, okay? You just put that out there. But it, it just lets me know, you know, how you, you you that separates you from getting caught up, okay? Because I used to be so, so passionate about helping people, okay? And I, I still am, okay? But I was overly passion, you know, to the point I became a, a cripple to people's elevation or a cripple or a crutch to people to actually move on, okay? What they supposed to do. I became that crutch to them. You know what I'm saying? But nowadays, I know, okay, it's, it's totally different. You can still, you know, apply what's apply, you know, the, um, the help and everything, but you cannot allow Allow people energy, you know what I'm saying, to get you in this compromise where they become your crutch and you become a crutch to them, okay? Mm -hmm. And no one's moving, you know what I mean? Yep, that shadow work is definitely a must, okay? You have to dive deep, okay? There's nothing wrong, nothing wrong with going in the dark, okay? Because in the dark, darkness is where you find your truth, all right? And if, if you're carrying the light, Okay, which you do, all right. You will see it, all right. You would definitely see it. So you definitely have to go in the dark and and go, church. Okay, okay. They ridicule darkness as something evil. Okay, that's where you got that shit from. Church. Yeah. It's evil. It's bad. Okay. And they taught you that, okay, so you wouldn't dive in yourself, okay? Hell, the person that was teaching you that was only giving you the shit that he had, okay? So we really can't be mad at these preachers because a lot of them don't know the true shit, okay? They only are dumb. Y'all need to go watch the movie on Netflix. It's called We Have a Ghost. And I don't know if y'all didn't that but it is, it's fun it's a comedy but at the same time it's deeper than that as well it got a lot of fucking gems in it a lot it's called what we have a ghost 
about we a black have, have a go. Oh, okay, yeah. I seen it the other night on my TV. My, my sister told me to watch it, and I watched it the other night. It's pretty funny, but at the same time, it's real fucking deep, and it got a lot of fucking gems in it. And one part that, that really stuck with me was the lady, they had a whole program. The government had a whole program that specifically sought out to catch entities. And they, she was talking about the spirit world. She was like, anything that comes from the spirit world is bad. And it's not good and they're dangerous the spirit world is dangerous and i'm just trying to figure out like what the fuck did you get that from not, not one time did she ever say that she had a bad dirt under the room. Room. They, that's what we are taught even as kids ghosts goblins spirits you know uh or, or someone being possessed they're they're possessed and and or if you go to church on a sunday and take communion and you ain't right with christ heaven demons into you these are the things that i was taught growing up you know and i've been i've been taking community communion plenty of times i ain't shit wrong with me you feel me so that's what it goes back to the point you don't blame the person who taught you they were taught the same thing right. they parents were taught that they parents were taught that so it's like each generation has been passed down to where somebody stopped and think like, that don't even make sense. It really don't. It really don't. And, and when you don't know the truth, it, it, it is going to be evil. Okay? When you don't know the truth, it's going to be bad. Okay? Yeah. You know? You, you worshiping yourself. You looking within at yourself to the God in you, that's evil to them. Because you are no longer brainwashed up under their umbrella. You're not up under their umbrella. Now it's that was it's it's on the grounds of okay, you you worshiping a false idol. When the whole time the false idol is any God outside of yourself. It's okay to acknowledge the other gods. But the only one that you're supposed to acknowledge the most is you, is yourself, is the God within you, because you are a God, self-God. And then anything after that comes after that. And that's just all that is. But we're taught to dull our own light. Like the, the song says, this, love, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. You are the light. <laughs> Let it shine. Don't hide yourself. Be, be true to who you are, but find yourself first. And that, that's not an easy task. It's, it's not. And I'm not going to say that it is an easy task. It was never meant to be easy because you have to unlearn everything that you learned and then reteach yourself. So, so you have to learn yourself all over again Imagine if you would have knew yourself from the beginning. It would have been nothing. Black girl magic is real. You would have been zapping here, zapping there, and doing this and doing that, and manifesting this and manifesting that, and it would have been nothing for you to think of something and boom, there it is. Hocus pocus. Bam. Be blah blah, blah boom. Abra fucking cadaver. There it is. It's right there in front of you. Hey, Shay. That's all it is. You know, but because we were dulled down, because we were programmed to to think outside the box instead of inside the box, I don't want to think outside the box anymore. That ain't my place to be thinking outside the box. You think outside the box. I'm going to start thinking inside the box. Because that's what the box is for. The hell am I doing on the outside of the box when I need to be working on what the fuck is inside the box? That goes back to that sweep around your own front fucking door. America will go out here and be worried about what's outside the box, worried about Korea, worried about what's going on over here in China, and worried about what's going on over here in Russia, and all of these fucking places. Yes, exactly. Shay, the other Shay. <laughs> but America will be worried about every damn thing else around them. Hiroshima, the next motherfucking war, who's going to war, trying to stop them from going to war, trying to stop somebody else from being a dictatorship in their own motherfucking country. 
when you ain't worried about what the fuck is going on inside the box of your own fucking country. Because you think it outside the box. Oh, let me see what's going on outside the box. Let me be an ally to this person and that person, this person and that person. But you ain't got your own shit together. You just your shit together. Find out what the fuck going on in your own backyard. Front yard. Side yard. All around the goddamn house. Cut your own fucking grass. Stop going to cut other people's grass and your grass is high as fuck and you got all kind of snakes in that bitch. Gonna fuck this okay. all, all up. Yeah. Get out of okay. here. Okay, and they'll show it out, girl. And they'll show it out. The sky might fall, but I ain't worried at all. Okay, okay. you ain't supposed to be. You ain't got, you, okay? Because if it follows, you know, I'll you any damn way. Yep, better clean that damn porch. Yeah, y'all remember y'all grandma used to be out there in that damn night down sweeping the fuck out that goddamn porch? <laughs> I know I was. <laughs> and Harmon, one of them good Negro spirituals. And I, I think I remember that. I thought it was a poem. Did you I, I don't know, but I think I remember those lyrics. Okay. In her moo moo. In her yeah, moo moo. <laughs> and then she was a cigarette smoker. She had a pack of cigarettes in them pockets. And she probably had a cigarette hanging out on the on the corner of her lip while she swung that broom sweeping that porch, singing them Negro spirituals. With the glasses that sat down here. And she was looking at <laughs> Look at over the glasses. <laughs> okay, that's why they always tell you better sweep in front of your own dough now. Keep and your own porch clean. And she seen every fucking thing that was going around her, but she didn't think outside the fucking box. She was thinking about her inside her own damn box. While she okay. seen all that shit. She seen Charlene's granddaughter over there doing what the fuck she was doing. She seen Uncle Ruckus ass over there being a fucking Uncle Ruckus. She swept her own front motherfucking dough and oh, other food with that cigarette hanging out her goddamn lip and looking off and over the glass. Okay, the neighbor could be arguing or whatever, but not. She's still sweeping in front of her dough. Okay? Making sure her, her dough, her, her, her porch is clean. Okay? And when the police come from them, they fighting over there, she take her ass, her and her move go right back in that goddamn house and shut the dough. Okay. Don't come knocking on my damn dough. I ain't got nothing to do with it. I know a lot about a lot and a little bit about a little bit, but I don't know shit. Okay. I, uh, I don't hear no evil, see no evil. What's that? <laughs> I ain't well, seen nothing. Okay. Watching my damn show. I ain't heard nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't be a little. <laughs> I'm to have a good day. Right. <laughs> right. I'm, done. I'm telling you. When your neighbor said you was outside sweeping. I came out here and did a little something in the yard, and I went back in the house. I, I honestly wasn't paying attention. Wait, came and she say, get the fuck get the off fuck my horse. Get the fuck out of my horse. Get the fuck out of my horse. Okay. 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 Yeah, I got to get them together. And I still have orders that I still am doing. And I, baby, I didn't get to go $2 Tuesday yesterday, y'all, because I was, I was a little busy. I'm still busy. But I said, I got, we got to come back out. We got to show our face, you know. We ain't been live in the meeting. Your girl, and we both, your girls, okay. We've been going through it, okay. We've been having a clean house, had to sweep in front of our door, okay. Had to get some old energy off and up under the rug and shit. All right. If you Got know, to. you know. Got to. So we back, okay, and stronger than ever. All right. We came with a message called "Sweeping Under the Rug" because that's what a lot of shit been going on. A lot of sweeping under the rug shit been going on. Another thing with the sweeping under the rug. Where we at right now in today's society, a lot, a lot of the shit that's under the rug is coming off and under there now. It's too much dirt. You know, when you have too much dirt up under something, 
it start to come up off up, up under it. That's mm -hmm. what's happening. Okay? So a lot of this shit is coming up out of the room. Okay? So you're going to have to face these reflections. Okay? Come on, girl, now, because I don't need my wig pulling off. Now, stop. <laughs> okay, I'll put it back on. I'll put it back on. <laughs> but, you know, we, we can't, we ain't going to be able to do it. Okay? And these kids today, they ain't going for contradiction either. So, you know, you it's a different approach that we have to approach them. And with each generation, it is definitely a different approach anyway. You know, so the sweeping under the rug is definitely going to not be existing. Um, the only thing that's still major, like we talked about earlier, is the molestation part. Okay, and that is slowly. Ah. I know, right? She just my leg. That that is slowly. Okay, starting to branch out up under the rug. Okay, it's it's, yeah. it's a lot of stories coming out more days. There's a lot more people being more vocal about it. And you, we have to talk about it. And when you talk about stuff, it comes off and up under what you've been, what we've been hiding it up under, okay? Uh, right. Now, what we was mainly supposed to talk about was the girl who's claiming to be Aaliyah and R. Kelly. Yeah, uh, also, uh, yes, the, the Legina girl. Yes. I don't yes. know if I've seen that or not, but... It's yeah, I don't know if y'all, I think uh, everybody probably familiar with Lil Aaliyah, okay? Allegedly, Lil Aaliyah. But, you know, when we grew up, when we was coming up, like I was telling sis, I remembered Aaliyah actually, that was a rumor actually of her being pregnant, okay? And then for like uh, through a year or whatever, didn't nobody hear about it no more. And then she came back out there on the scene with Timberland in there, okay? Mm -hmm. Whole new version of her, you know. She was dressing a little different, okay. She was, you know, the new Aaliyah had arrived. So this girl that's coming out, they're saying that she's Aaliyah's daughter, okay. Now a lot of people is looking at her like, mm -mm, get somebody else to do it. it. Ain't her baby. She don't look nothing like Aaliyah or R. Kelly, okay. But sometimes your kids don't have to come out looking like you like that. Now they could be looking like somebody else. Okay, somebody else in your family, grandparents. Okay, they can look like them. All right, they're still your lineage. So you know, <laughs> a lot of people are like, hell no, nah, she just don't look like my Aaliyah or R. Kelly because they are looked up as sex symbols. Okay, they look good. They look they good looking people. Okay, so they looking at this girl. They like, mm 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 mm. Hell no, she not. The girl can't sing no lick. She Sorry. damn sure can't sing now. She she. Keep that one out. She didn't her get that. Her talent is painting. Her talent is painting. Draw her ass off. But, uh, no. Mm -mm. But, you know, she's saying she, her, uh, that's her mama and that's her daddy. And, you know, I, me, I'm, I'm, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but wherever there's a lie, there's some truth. Okay? That's how I put it. Wherever there's a lie, there's damn sure going to be some truth, okay? So if she lying, it's still some truth in what is being put out, okay? Do Aaliyah have a secret daughter? This ain't like the first time somebody done came out and said they're Aaliyah child, okay? And when they said, the last time that I remember, it was another girl, and she she was pretty nice, okay? And, and everybody believed her until this one came out. Okay? And that's another thing that's being swept under the rug. When it comes to darker skinned females or darker skinned people, okay, we can't be a certain, we can't be connected to certain people, okay? So, and that's another topic for another day, okay? That's another topic for another day. But that is heavy because that does lies in the foundation, okay? But baby, the darker the bearer, the sweeter the juice. And when I mean the sweeter the juice, that means the, the higher you are to God, baby, okay? You are pretty much authentic, all right, to the source. Okay. And anything outside of it is an extension, like my ass, okay? I'm a little brown skin. I would have been in the house. I would have been a house slave, okay? I would have been not in the field, but in the house. But at the end of the day, what I'm saying is, is just because she looks darker, people are like she doesn't look like her, and it's not her. I actually see some type of resemblance. I've been studying, okay? And I've been like, even if it's not, like I told sis, it's still some truth that lies in this because it was a time that Aaliyah was, and it was a, a rumor, okay? And they just left it as a rumor, okay? But everybody remember when she she married R. Kelly, okay? Have a 
All right? So, so Marion R. Kelly wasn't by coincidence. All right? Yeah. And back then, a lot of people, especially old schoolers, old schoolers, if we got you pregnant, oh, you got to be my wife. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. And then, and 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 don't forget, you lied on the the marriage license, saying that yeah, and they lied on the marriage license, and she was not. Mm -hmm. So therefore, mm -hmm. you know, regardless if the girl telling the truth or lying, it's some type of they always say the truth is putting on his shoes to catch up with your lie. Okay, and what's this say? A lie is based on the truth always. Mm -hmm. Okay, always. So y'all say tuned for next week that is what we're going to be talking about so y'all get y'all study on with the whole sweep up under the rug so i got some motion yeah. wrong. please bring it forth maybe we missed definitely it. but that will be one of the topics that we talk about next week definitely got to get into Regina because she is actually intelligent in the motherfucker okay and these people that that that, that really don't believe her be the ones that actually be in the church and don't believe that they got it, okay? It's the same energy, baby, okay? So, um, yeah, we're going to dig deep in that next week. Um, you want to say bye to the people? You want to say bye, family? Mm -hmm. Say bye, family? Yeah. She said bye. Rubbing her eyes and she ain't sleeping not one beat. She just playing. I have not seen anything on it, but I will um, I have heard about it. I've heard about it. I've heard about it. Oh, you know what's funny though is because um, me and my insignificant, me and baby daddy was talking about that before it even happened. We were talking about the, a train is less likely to derail than a plane is to fall out the fucking sky. But majority of the traffic goes through planes than it does trains because you don't you don't necessarily hear a train derailing like that. And if you do, it had to be a major impact for a train to derail. But for a plane to fall out of the sky, it don't take much. Engine failure, some fucked up ass shit that the pilots and them did, them not properly checking the plane when it comes back to the airport. Things, that's all type of shit that can go on with a plane. But a train, mm, get somebody else to do it. Yeah, is that the train you're talking about that uh, released some chemicals in the in the air and in their water? I think I did hear about that. Because if, yeah, that's the one. I, yeah, I read about that one. I definitely had it. I get a lot of notifications on a lot of um things going on because I be trying to stay up a little bit in the loop. Okay, just a little bit. So because I can, I can, I can uh, study. I'm studying the like Trains don't derail like that. It. So it's definitely yeah, something that's going to happen. But but 9 9-11, what they do? They did it by plane. They did it by air then. Now they're doing it by ground. They're grounded. They did it by the air. Now they're doing it by, by the ground, by the dirt, by the foundation. You got to look at it. Yeah, a lot of stuff. That's because the foundation is breaking up. The old roots, those that all that shit right there coming up is coming out. Got to. That's why we get in these movies dealing with the water and, and the foundation. Because now we got to go in there. Okay? We've been up here. Okay? We've been all up in the sky. Okay? Now we got to get back down. Okay? And we got to go in the ground. So a lot of things that's in the ground is buried, such as swept under the rug, they're coming up off up under there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a train is a prime fucking example. Okay? Derailing a train? The fuck? Everything stops for a train. A train don't stop for nobody. Unless it's going to the train station to pick up something. But a train don't stop for the train. Shit, I would thought the train would be the safest thing to travel. Besides. That's what I'm telling you. That's what me and baby were talking about. Yep, yeah, Black Panther 2, yep. Y'all on it. Love y'all. Love you too, sis. Yeah, the Black Panther. All about the water. The Avatar. All about the water. Okay? Hell, even um Black Adam. Okay. Yeah. Definitely was. Definitely was. I watched it. That was a, that was pretty good. I liked how they did it. Yeah. Yeah. 
and the water deals with the foundation. The water deals with everything connected, just like the land. Okay, mm -hmm. under the land is what the water. Okay, mm -hmm. everything sits on water. Okay, so yeah, we get into we get into the foundation of things. Now I said this too. We've been in the mind. Now we in the body because the body is a symbol of the land. Okay. So that's that's another thing of you going under your suit, okay? That's another thing, not just spiritually, but physically going in these grounds, okay? And and a lot of the things are coming uprooted, okay? Because things have changed. Dealing and those things no longer exist. Dealing with the root chakra. You gotta stay grounded. Got it. Gotta stay grounded. Okay? Okay, you gonna be up in gravity all day. You gotta stay grounded. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Most love traveling by air, but okay, by ground. Yeah. Hey, really, really sea. <laughs> traveling by air, but not by sea, not by ground, not by railroad. And to be honest, a train is safer when traveling. Right. That that would be the safest uh, transportation because you you lay the tracks and with the tracks is being symbolized is the journey. So you laid out the foundation to follow the tracks, okay? And, and they are guarded by rails. Ooh wee! They ain't supposed to do rails. Be rail, you are off track. <laughs> off track, off course, baby. Uh -huh. Okay. And when the energy come down, it's gonna derail. <laughs> And now everybody out of the train. And now that's breaking breaking the news. Oh, okay. I bet it is. Because the train doesn't derail like that. Mm-mm. It definitely don't. So, yes. Do y'all homework. And we're going to talk about this thing next week. Because I don't want my phone to shut off. <laughs> okay. We definitely is. It'll be the same time. Same place. Okay. As you know it, we're going to always talk about it, okay? So we're going to be back next week, all right, family? I got to get the kids. She got to get her baby, okay? And it's always a pleasure talking to y'all and building. Um, But, you know, I don't, we don't, I don't have nothing to say. And good night, guys. And you have sweet dreams. All right. Love, peace, and oneness to all y'all. Peace. Bye.